The University of Kaiserslautern was founded 1970. From its beginning, it had a focus on natural sciences and engineering. 73, the Department of Mechanical Engineering was established and one of its first chairs was the chair of materials science. What's special about our university is that we have strong collaborations within the departments and in particular across the departments. And in addition to that, we have good collaborations with the institutes around the university, which is an active network that we call the Science Alliance Kaiserslautern. And maybe another issue is important here, is that we have an interdisciplinary spirit of research. And this allows us to tackle new interesting cross-discipline um, topics of research and challenges. We have six central research areas. In this context, three are important. Um, let me name first advanced materials, composites and production engineering. Second, mathematical modeling and simulation. And third, light, spin and matter. These CRC, the collaborative research centers, are very important drivers for our university, for the research at the university, in particular for the, the, the three research areas that I mentioned. Spin is the internal angular momentum of elementary particles such as an electron or a nucleus of an atom. It's the ingredient of magnetism as well as of many chemical phenomena. Within our collaborative research center, we are interested in spin phenomena. That is the interaction of spin with something else. And this is for that plus X stands for. So plus X can stand for the fundamental mechanism of interaction of spin with each other or with the local environment. That's what we call spin-spin and spin-orbital interactions. Or it plus X can stand for the transport of spin or the control of spin or the use of spin. Component surfaces surround the components like the skin surrounds the human body. It's the place where the component interacts with its environment and so Component surfaces are decisive for the functionality and the lifetime of components. We have a big group of projects uh, who deal with uh, metastable materials and you can induce phase changes in these materials right in the manufacturing process. And this very efficiently uh, yields materials with uh, very favorable properties regarding strength, fatigue resistance and so on. We investigate a wide range of materials for high performance components in automotive, aerospace and energy applications. And this material portfolio ranges from metallic materials such as steels and lightweight alloys over metal matrix composites to advanced hybrid material systems. We aim to quantify and understand the complex relationships between microstructure, mechanical and physical properties. These correlations of course depend on manufacturing process and alloy composition, but they evolve during service loading of components. And with that we can use these correlations for monitoring of materials and components under service conditions. With our focus on fatigue properties of metallic materials and advanced compounds. We have on the one hand strong collaborations with manufacturing technology research, but also with industry on application level. And this reaches from fundamental research in public funded projects to bilateral collaborations for individual component testing campaigns. Essential benefits of fatigue life assessment using the physically based lifetime calculation method are high reliability as well as time and cost effectiveness. Besides conventional stress strain measurements, we perform supplemental high precision measurements analyzing the cyclic deformation behavior of metals. And from the data of one load increase and two constant amplitude tests, a Wöhler curve in excellent accordance with conventionally determined data can be derived. Yeah, we work on a new hybrid composite together with our colleagues at IVW. 
So we combine metal fibers and carbon fibers to a multifunctional composite material. We call it MCFRP, so metal and carbon united. This new hybrid laminate unite light white, damage tolerance and electrical conductivity in one concept and therefore I think it is a candidate for future aircraft applications. We explore emerging multi-material joints. First, dissimilar metals like aluminum to titanium. Second, real hybrid joints between light metals to fiber reinforced polymer composites or even metals to glasses and ceramics. So therefore we explore all available ultrasonic joining techniques, spot, torsion and even roll seam welding to join, for example, composite tubes to metallic fittings in future. I use advanced in situ microscopy to study the impact of multi-phase microstructures like metal matrix composites on their mechanical properties. My work is supported by the German Research Foundation in a research training group. So I think that the CRC, the Collaborative Research Centers, are very important drivers for our university, for the research at the university. In particular, because they are international top research that's done there, they attract international students and um, young researchers to our location here. And that's very important, of course.